Oh, and you just. And I just my back tires went on. My front tire went on it, and then my back tire went up to it. You have two biogas plants on your property? No, no one's you... one's Linehart's, and the other one's just Charles. Oh, they're just that close to each other. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, the bar it's the border. Because Charles wants some water front property also, so oh. Lyer got he got the most of it, and Charles got a little sliver of the leak. Well, I rolled up, and I thought the one was an extension tank, and I thought, well, that's a little far away. I'm wondering if I'm just going to see now if it'll let me to put... Oh, see, that's weird, Optimus. I can put down an extra extension tank with no problem. Yeah, like I said, I bet it's just a glitch on my end. And then tomorrow, I bet when I go down, either that or I'll try it now. Maybe it's fixed itself. So. <coughs> oh. What the heck? Thank you. Oh, I felt that. There, yeah, item cannot be placed. Yeah, no, I was able to place one of my property. Well, now it's saying you, I don't own the land, which I know I own the land. Are you sure? Hell? Yeah, it's right next to the place I already... Oh, well, yeah, but your, um, your biogas is right on the borderline. Yeah, but if I go, I mean, I'm 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 staying away from the border though, because the road, I cut the road in. The road is the border. Yeah. Because I because I can like landscape. Where, where I was trying to place the thing, I could landscape that area, but it doesn't let me put that anywhere on my property. I get I get the message that says I cannot play. I, it cannot be placed. Mm, no, really. Okay. And it happens if I pick the I pick the grain silo extension and I the liquid silo extension and it gives me the same message, which is exactly the same message I got on my map. Uh oh. Until I had saved it and came back like the next time when I mm. you know was like when I was telling you about it. Yeah. I knew there was a reason why I took it, and, uh... Oh, it'd probably be cheaper, Optimus, if you put in one of the multi-buying ones, eh? Than buying it there. Yeah. I don't know. I think it costs more money to fill there than it would be to put one on your farm. Alright, well, that's I can yeah. find out. That cost me 80000 I think that was, it's always more expensive here, I think. I don't know. I haven't done a, a yeah, comparison I, test on it. I have, and it's a bit more money, I think. Uh-huh. Well, I was going to put one of those down on my, on my land anyway, so... Well, probably the next prop piece of property I buy will be that one next to me on that other side anyway, so... <laughs> oh, that's right. This thing does not give you fertilizer when you put seed in it with a seeder. Oh, there we go. I had to back out of it and back in, drive into it again. I'll say, what the hell? Well, get my hole. I guess I should, yeah. Yes, I better take. Let me get a, a spreader. Oh. Just do lime.
Better do the line, my field line first. Let's see. Pardon? Okay. Cool beans. Oh, look hot beans. I gotta look both ways across the freaking road, I don't know where anyone's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just thought of that. I go I'm just starting to zip across the road and I'm going, hang on, I better look both ways. I don't know if there's gonna be someone come flying up the road. <laughs> and Charles will be coming up that way, he'll be just like smoking me or something.
potatoes are planted. I was going into the chip business. Tater chip business. Tater chips, uh, potato sticks, spicy potato sticks. Barbecue. <laughs> Curly fries. Yeah, well, I gotta go get something to eat. You're making me hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grow something that we can eat. Not sugar cane. <laughs> That's a sweetener. Yeah. Got to have some in coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Too bad we can't plant coffee. Yeah, I, I just be, I'm back in a second. I gotta go get something to eat. I'm right back. <laughs> All right.
I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. I'll tell you what, if you get down close and personal to these plants, on, on the area Jim did, it really does look almost like the actual plant. Yeah. Woohoo, 150,000 yeah. for that remote. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? What? The actual, when you look, like Charles said, you down look at it right at the plant, like some of the leaves he, he did, he did actually a pretty amazing job on them. Sewing, Charles. Hmm? What you sewing? So I've been. Jeez, everything got quiet again. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Everybody's concentrating on planting and plowing and... <laughs> I had to mute my mic, I was getting yelled at about forks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my mom is convinced that we were throwing away silverware apparently, so she bought like new silverware. She counts it periodically. Oh, uh -huh. um, oh you took to I'm like, I don't I very rarely take a fork and you know, I use plastic utensils a lot. I don't know. I'm just like I'm not throwing away the damn forks. I don't know where the heck, you know.
Yeah, I never really paid much attention to that little icon of the tractor in your implement up in the corner. That it actually shows that the implement's up or down. You can really tell on 17, but I really can't tell on 19. I can if you want, I just watched it. I, thought, well, I never really paid any attention to it. It, just, it showed the implement going up and down when you open that upper left corner. Hmm. <coughs> I never even really paid attention. I just haven't looked at it. You know, so okay. Gives you an idea that the implement's up or down if you look up there, if you happen to look up there. but Oh, yeah. I just hmm. never paid any attention to it before. Just till now. I just noticed it really now. Hmm. So there's John Deere's cedar. It's hard to tell whether you've got it down or if it's up when you first do it. You don't really see much animation to it unless you're up close to it. Right. Compared to the other <clears throat> ones. Because I'm using the, the little John Deere cedar right now. But that could change shortly. Do a, a star planter. space there. There's lots of space. Jeepers. That's the first I ever had that come up and say not enough space to unload. I remember I was, oh, weird. Yeah. Still, not enough space to unload. Jeez, I'm right in the middle of the yard. Huh. That's weird. They won't let me unload. Go on, dog. <laughs> he comes up here, and then nobody ever notices he's not downstairs anymore. Mm. Comes up here because the big ones won't come up here. Like you got a bush right in the middle of your field. Yep. Right at the right at the beginning of your field. Yeah, I know.
cross. Look crossways before you cross the road. <laughs> you get smacked. Yeah, it's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen one of these times. I'm not gonna think it's gonna go across and Charles is gonna come flying from the store and quack right into me. Or Lionheart. Yeah. Or one of you is. Someone's gonna smoke me, I know they are. They're gonna take me they're gonna, someone's gonna take me out you're not gonna I'm not going to think. I'm just going to be going across. Hell yeah, I'm good. I think I'm by myself. <laughs> I don't see where you're at. I just have your place. Well, if I hit you, I'll hit you faster than anybody else will. <laughs> <laughs> the pure nature of the tractor I have. <laughs> yeah. Train going by? Yes, it is. We get that every day, two or three times a day. Oh, you're Jeez. right by the tracks? We're not right up on them, but we're, we're, we're let's just say we're about 300, 400 feet away from them. Oh, awesome. I'd love to be living there. Yeah, we used to have train tracks about half a mile away from my house, but they tore them out. They weren't being used anymore. It's, a, it's like a nature trail or something now. No. no. I had an uncle that, where he lived, the tracks were like about 100 feet away from his house, hmm. roughly. And I used to like going there visiting them that, and I would uh, see the trains going by, I'd hear them and that, and run outside. and. I watch a, run, a, a bunch of random train videos online. There was yep. one, and this was crazy. The train tracks went through these people's backyard, like mm -hmm. when the train the train passed by. It literally was about three feet from their house. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, and then it went to like a road crossing. We uh, there's one town here. It's like that to get to the one industry that it services. Mm -hmm. It has to, the train has to go right through the middle of the town. And, like, you could literally, the one house, you could basically reach out the window and shake the engineer's hand when he went by. That's how close he gets to the houses in one section. Yeah, I've seen those videos, too, where, like, um, it literally is like the road, like the main street of the town has railroad tracks in the middle of it. And then, like, once or twice a day, a train goes through. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you've got parked cars in this train coming within feet of these cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus. Just imagine if it derailed right there. Yeah. Well, it's funny because like, my wife doesn't really care for the sound of trains, but we used to go to the, where my dad used to live. I go to the train station where you're sitting 20 feet from the tracks. Now mm -hmm. my wife would sit there with them, with me at that point and watch the trains go by. And then <laughs> if we came to a crossing somewhere, I had to stay back like six car lengths away from the tracks. I said, <laughs> what does it matter? So you sit at the train station, you're 20 feet away. We go to a national crossing and you want me to stay back six car lengths. She says, well, the train could derail. I said, well, it can derail at the train station, too. It yeah. doesn't mean it won't. And it'd be even worse if it derails at the train station. There's a pretty cool restaurant I used to go to. Had the, it was one of those situations where it was, like, right by the railroad track. So you'd be sitting there eating, and a freight train would go. Oh, yeah. It wouldn't be going too fast because it was going through a town. But, yeah, yeah there was. Sudden, you'd hear the horn. There's one like that in a uh, town called Cornwall. Um it uh, goes right by a Harvey's. When they do switching at an industry down there, 
you have to go right by the Harveys and that. So you sit there and read <laughs> the restaurant and get a good glimpse of the trains and that. And the, the, this one they named it something like something crossing. Like they, it's like a railroad scene because they took advantage of it being right by the. Because there's like the roads in front of it is right in front of it, then the tracks are on the one side of it, and then it's parking lots on the other. So it's right by there by the, the railroad crossing. So it's like something crossing. I forgot. Mm. We get a lot of. There are, there are tracks that go through the down near downtown. They kind of go on the outside the edge of our downtown area, because that's we have an Amtrak station there. Um, and then, like a freight train, will go through there once in a while. Like in the summer, when I have my windows open, I can hear it. Uh, I can generally hear the trains here because we're still quite a ways away from the track. With the air is just right, mm -hmm. you can hear the the train whistle like very clear at nighttime. And uh, like it's very like probably like over yeah. two miles from the tracks. Yeah, it sounds about right. But if you hear the air, the right the air pressure's right. You can hear train the whistle very close, like it's so it's going through your backyard. <coughs> and, uh, the one from mine, I can actually hear the the clack on the tracks, like if the wheels are hitting the joint. Oh, really? Yeah. I can hear that noise if if it's if there's no other traffic noise, like if it's late at night and the traffic noise isn't real bad around my house. It's usually like I said, it's in the summertime when I've had the windows open, and if I don't have any other things going, like fans or TV or nothing. Like late night, you can hear the click, 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 you know. Yeah. It used to be re you could hear it really good when the trains were right by our house because it crossed. Like I said, it couldn't have been more than a half quarter quarter to half a mile away from my house. Um. Because it used to also go behind the Home Depot because the Home Depot used to actually get lumber delivered by train mm. back when they first built it. Okay. But. Mostly what you see around here is auto carriers. If you see freight trains. I mean, every once in a while you'll see other kind of freight, but you see a lot of the auto the auto stacks going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we get those. <coughs> well, we get a lot of container trains yeah. coming through CN because we're right by the CN tracks. And mm -hmm. That's why ours is uh, mostly container, t container and hopper tracks. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, well, then I said it's like, I don't know if it's two or four times a day. I think it might be four times a day the Amtrak comes through. Going, it, it stopped, this is its final stop. Mm. Um, it goes between here and Chicago. Then it makes, I mean, it makes a bunch of other stops along the way, but I think, I think uh, Pontiac is the last stop in the route for it. Yeah. Because that's every a lot of people if they are a lot of like a lot of friends of mine if we be like hey you know if they're gonna go to Chicago some, a lot of them go to week for the weekend they'll go to Chicago yeah you can just hop on the train and be there and I thought someone said four or five hours something like that mm -hmm. depending on how many stops because there's a couple <laughs> there's a couple stops along the way that it only stops there if somebody if it knows somebody has to be picked up there they're they're like little tiny small towns like one of them's a small college town yeah um, and they said yeah the, the train won't even stop there unless somebody's bought a ticket and needs to be picked up because that's my friend went to the college in that town and she said yeah that she uh that's how she would get home she would buy the she'd get a train ticket and come home Okay, that feels mean. It was pretty funny. One of my my friend's brothers, he he had thought at one time about getting a job as a conductor. <clears throat> <laughs> 
because Amtrak was advertising they were hiring for conductors. Mm. And that was that's what it says. It says you travel between here. It would, it would be the route, the Chicago route. You'd be. It, I thought it said you'd go between here and Chicago like four times a day or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, something like that. It was something crazy. Did he get it? No, he decided not to. He went for something else instead. And you know, you know, uh, to be a, a train conductor, anyways, or an engineer, you have to go to class and training. Yeah. You have to qualify before you can, they let you get behind the engine of one of them. Well, that's one. That, it was just like taking tickets and stuff. That was what oh. it really boiled them into. Yeah, I used to have a. I had a friend that worked for. Um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of the Ontario Northland, which is up in North Bay, and uh, he used to work for the ONR. So every year after he retired, that he used to go back up every year to them and go up there for a visit. So we went up. He took me up one time up there because it was up into Cochrane, Moosonee, and all that stuff. And that, and then we get there because he knows people up there. You wind up getting a chance to get to ride on the train engines and that. Mm, cool. And what's kind of neat is the well, funny thing was when we were up there, we we're sitting at the station just. I think it was one evening afterwards, waiting after we had supper and that. Then we went to the sat outside and the, the train station and watched the trains went through. We had talked to this, one of the guys that worked in the yard there, and so we told like, the guy. Said, "Well, where was you guys from?" And we told him, and the guy said, "Well, do you know so and so, which is this guy's father-in-law?" I said, "Well, yeah." I said, "I know him. He shops at our store all the time." Well. That there just opened up a whole thing for us. The guy said, well, here, come with us. Take us down to a coach car. We get the tour of the coach cars. Gives us dinner plates out of the coach cars to take <laughs> home. Then we get, he said, well, here, he says, here, jump up. Put us up in an engine. He said, here, you can ride in the engine with these guys. we got to switch cars around in the yard. we got to ride around the engine with them. Have that around the yard a bit and help shunt cars around. And It was actually kind mm -hmm. of fun. We now, yeah. and now when he goes up there, he takes anybody with him. They actually give him a locomotive to play with, on oh, a side, geez. on a siding somewhere. They generally give him a Jeep 38 or something like that, and they allow them to run up and down the track a little bit here and there with the <laughs> engine. And that, so. Oh yeah, they got tours of the shops, and then they give. They say, oh yeah, here you just go up and down the track. He lets them take He's it. to play with. Yeah. Oh yeah, they give them a, a cheap 38. Away they go. They sit there and go back and forth, up and down. There's one little siding with it. See, there's a, the, uh, the, the tra there's a train track over in Kmac, that's which is about, I'd say about five miles away from us. That's where they do the switching for the different tracks and so forth. There whether it runs into okay. Atlanta or another rail to go a, a different way. But yep. uh, <clears throat> they have a uh, they have a day over there where everybody can they'll sh show a tour of the uh, switching yard and so forth. And they'll, <coughs> they'll even take you up in the engine and let, let you see what the engine, engine cabin looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have, like I say, we have a museum. Yeah, we got a museum here like that that you can go to, and they do train rides. You get to sit up in a caboose, and they've got so much trackage that they're allowed to use. Mm -hmm. It's on their property and that, so you get to ride in caboose and, or in a coach car or something yeah. like that. That's something I've yeah. never been on yet, is a train. Oh, no? Nope, I have not well, been on a train. I've been on a bus, I've been on a, on a jet, in a jet plane, I've been... And the other thing I have not been on, and I don't, I'm a little leery about that, would be a, a cruise ship. Hmm. Yeah, that I've never done either. I have, uh, my sister, they do cruises all the time, and they keep telling me to, should do one. I said, no, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm good. It's no problem. Oh yeah, but you have fun. I said, well, yeah, maybe, but 
They do it every year. I just, I'm not a traveler. I'm just I'm a homebody guy, same as my dad was. He's gonna be home doing stuff around my house, and mm -hmm. then well, I just well, they say I have a hard time justifying on a trip, go spending two, three thousand dollars on a trip, and what do you get to show for it other than a sunburn and a few pictures? That's about and maybe, it. And maybe well, some souvenirs. And that, or you might get sick while you're there because you might get the diarrhea from something because of the food. Right. And wherever you go to, because a lot of people, that happens to people that go somewhere, eat that different food or something, and then they wind up being sick. So then you're stuck in your uh, motel room. Hey, Big B. Yeah. Are you in the, in the shop area? No. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Is this ghost see, there? I've, there's a ghost there. Huh. Hello? <laughs> what you doing over here, Mommy? Optimus? If you're out in the field, what, why are you doing here walking? <laughs> That's <laughs> kind of crazy. <laughs> I've seen that happen before on multiplayer where it would be a guy would be one spot and then he's now in another he's gone. spot. Now he is gone. Well, Charles got himself an orange picky up. Yep. Bright orange. Well, I should be able to see you coming then. <laughs> Shouldn't run into you. A funky horn. They need to put a horn on there with some balls. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch a glimpse of what I have behind it? I see a water tank around behind you. <laughs> you must be thirsty. I am. Very thirsty. <laughs> Don't tell me you got you haven't got animals yet, have you? I got a horse. Already? Oh, he's got a horsey. I was debating about that, doing horses on here. Should do horse. I mean, my transportation to get around the farm, around the land. <laughs> I have to exercise them. I just might have to. If I, I have to make some more money, though. I'm just starting my second field right now. I just bought another property land. If this works, I'll be pissed if it don't. Why? Oh, you're going to try and dip out of the water? Out of the reservoir there? As long as Lionheart doesn't see you doing it, you'll be okay. I got, I got part, part of this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You can't get the water. So I'm telling you, you don't own the land? No, it's t it, the trigger does not trigger in the pond there, in this lake. No, it don't even trigger. Did it even, did it ever trigger in that? I don't remember doing don't, it. I've never tried remember. it, so I don't know. I, I, I never tried it before, and I, I don't think it does. That's all right. I got, I got something to put to solve that problem. <laughs> yeah, there's a thing called the water tank. Yeah, we got a nice one with the map. Yep. Yeah, I like that one because you have to open the valve up every time yeah. you use it. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It said water mill, and I thought it was going to give me water, and that didn't work. It just gives me $1,000 an hour, $15 oh. daily cost.
Oh, I bought that property. You do you first one you bought it, Optimus? When you first started, and then you got rid of it again. Oh, I wound up buying that piece of land now. Uh, I went ahead and bought the. I was tired of fighting with the thing next to me, so I bought the one that's next to me. Uh. Is that a strong cigarette? Yes. <laughs> I heard the lighter. I heard the lighter go click, and I thought, "Oh, he must have fired up a ciggy." Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, I love that sound effect and visual effect of opening that water valve. Yeah. I really do. Oh, I didn't know you left. Yeah, <laughs> you were. I just thought that. Geez, I was just saying, Lionheart must be awful. He must be really busy on his farm. He's. Yeah, I didn't. I say I didn't put that one in. So if you want to wait till you get that? I read really Lionheart. Put that one in for you. Yeah. That one you wanted. I forgot to highlight it when I came into the game. No sense you're wasting money on a silo that you don't want. Unless you got, you're gonna put a different one. I, I was looking for, I forgot to put in the other multi-fruit one too, the steel mm -hmm. ones. Yeah, the other one's up there. Yeah, okay. and I forgot to highlight the one you wanted. I forgot to put it in. So I gotta put it in the next time around. That's why I say don't buy a silo unless you don't really need it right now until you yeah. get the one you want. Yeah. My bad. I think I have to put something else in anyways, too. Wasn't there something you wanted, Optimus? Well, there was that truck. The truck you were asking me about? Uh, yeah, if there's okay. anything else, I'll get to. I'll send you a message later. Okay. Oh, that, uh, that... That uh, that tracker thing, yeah. Oh yeah, the Helmer. The Homer thing. Yeah. The Homer, yeah. You know the truck he's talking about, guys? That he wants the other one. Yeah, yeah. Not the hel not the Helmer one. The other one. There's another truck he's Optimus is talking it's a, about. It, it's a Terados. I know what you're talking about. Let let me look here real quick. The the truck is the is the older is like that old small truck pack. Yeah, it's just a standard truck, not like a standard truck, regular truck. Yeah, it's, like, it's yeah, it's just a four wheel, but it's got a bunch of different options you can put on it. Just want to make sure those guys have it, the same one, so either send them the same photo to them also. In a, oh, okay. Yeah. So they you know can... which one. That way they didn't. They know to make sure they check on it too before I put it in the game, and then they go to get in. They can't get in because of that. I called the Swiss Army truck. <laughs> mm. The Terados is nice too because it's not. It's something you can use, but it's not a. It's. It doesn't actually count as a mod. It actually says it's a DLC like thing. Yeah. Yeah. But that thing, But it double. It doubles as basic. Like a tractor. It has tractor a tractor also. It that. can be. You can use it to plow fields. You can use it to do. It's a versatile vehicle. To. Right. It, it'll replace a tractor it's, and all that. It's pretty high horsepower. I think. It, I want to yeah. say it's 450 horsepower or something like. If you get the big one, the one yeah, that has so. the attachments but I use it on my map you know how I told you I built a little biogas complex yeah that's the tractor because because I and I have like the fertilizer attachment <laughs> and the only other thing I have is I have are a bee you harvester. talking about that sin track no no, no. no. Okay. no. it's the, the free DLC that we got 
Oh, I know. I when you I see the thing, you'll. About. Yeah, it's. I think yeah, I it's just have a, that it's like a standard. It's like a standard truck, but it's got a few different things to it. Oh, you I'm trying to remember it. which one it was. You said a I horse. wish. I was wondering what the hell. <laughs> I well, wish they would give the uh, the hook. They put the somebody would do the hook lift like they had in 17. In 17, it had a hook. Oh crap! That's not what I wanted to do. Um, in 17, it had a hook lift option. Mm. But yeah, somebody had modded it. Like I was like, oh yeah, because with the hook lift on it, it became even more. Don't be, don't be looking at my field, at my fence, and on my fields, and then running my fence again. I was looking at the field, admiring the field, and about to hit the fence. <laughs> 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 Charles out for a horsey ride? That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just putting my second field in right now, just plowing it up. Looking ground on the second field. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do with I don't know if I want to make one giant field or a couple smaller fields. Charles running across my field, galloping like a galloping gourmet. What's that, sir? Just blew by me. Almost hit him with a tractor. <laughs> I'm about to hit him. I was wondering what the hell? How are you doing that? I mean, see a horse quickly move out of the way. <laughs> what would be funnier is if the horse didn't render on your screen, so you just see his character. <laughs> oh yeah. In a mounted position, going across the field. Yeah. <laughs> well, Charles is the first one to have an an have anima an animals on his farm. Say it. it out. Yeah. I'm about ready to hit myself in the back of the head there for a second to get it out. Someone hit Gunner. He's skipping. Yeah. <laughs> How much longer do you think you're going to be on here? Uh, probably for a little bit while you get stuff you oh. want to do, or you No, I, I, well, I was going to log off, I have to run to the bathroom. Oh. I got to make it save here before I forget about everything. I'll probably be on for a little bit longer. I'll have to take the wife to work yet for a bit. <coughs> are you going to come back on, or are you going to be done for the Well, night? yeah, I'll try and get back on here. It's just... Okay. Not a whole that long. <laughs> well, I was gonna say if you were, just I wouldn't wouldn't jump off. Just just. Well, stay it's gonna on. be longer. Yeah, I, I wanted to. Well, I I kind of wanted to jump off, and then jump back on and see if it fixes oh, that glitch with your the tank. Thing. So. Oh, okay. All right. That's what. Whatever. Yeah, we'll so. be probably on for a while yet. All right. Your, I will be back friend in a request, Optimus. Oh yeah, I saw that. I'll accept it when I get done. Alright, I'll um, be back in a little bit. Okay. Whenever you see me pop back on, um, just send me a chat and line again. Yep. We'll do, sir. Oh, I'm not plugging in my controller. <laughs> Alright, bye. See you later. Later.
I got Thor completely up to 100% for the daily ride. Nice.